remind you that your body is the only instrument that you really need to make music. I'm about to share with you one of the most important yet elusive components of music. That would be the groove. The first thing you must do to get into the groove is to remember to remember to listen. It all begins with the effect that you want your groove to make and the tempo to match. The tempo is the steady speed of the basic beat. In the many different styles of music, we put these basic beats into groups called meters to help define the groove. We have a lot of choices. The most popular are groups of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 12. The 3 and 4 beat groupings are the most widely used for all styles and types of music. And today, we're going to work with the four beat grouping. Foot pattern on the basic beat helps to reinforce the tempo of the groove. Let's make it happen. Of our right foot, count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. With your left hand, Pat your left thigh on beats two and four. One. Change that to a finger snap with your left hand on beats two and four. Add right thigh pads with your right hand on beats one and three. Now that we've got a dialogue going within this four beat meter, I want to create a mellow groove. The tempo is going to be somewhere around 60 beats per minute or one beat per second. And to make this groove, I will be silent on some beats and create a pattern by clapping only on the beats that I want the groove to be on. Here's the tempo. One, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two. Now let's pump up this groove and add additional parts using our voice on other beats around this groove, which was one, two, three, four, one, two. And I'm going to stop pounding my foot so you can hear only the parts of the groove. Here come the additional parts. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. Two, two, three. Two, two, three.
three, four. We've just completed one set of a four-part groove that included several repetitions of each part. You will do eight repetitions of each part to make one set and gradually increase their tempos after the successful completion of eight. Very often, knowing your other parts helps you to hold on to yours. Do this several times a day. By placing these patterns on various tempos and various meters, you will uncover more patterns and hear similarities to music that you're familiar with. Instead of using beat locations, vocalize tones, break words into syllables, and place them on the beat. Remember to remember the feeling that you get from the sound, look, smell, feel, and taste of your creation. And remember to remember where that feeling comes from. The effect that you want will dictate what, when, where, why, and how the sounds will occur as you consistently feed the effect. You'll find more ways to make it happen at my website, jerryjamont.com, along with my new ebook, There's Music in Everyone, that includes my Say It, Sing It, and Play It learning system. There's a lot of undiscovered talent out there, and it's in you. Let it out. Make your groove happen.